The Generation 2 Filtration High Pressure Series is a simple cost-effective method of prolonging oil life, reducing component wear, and helping you help the environment. In this video, we shall demonstrate to you step-by-step step how simple a typical installation is. This work is being performed by a Generation 2 Filtration Technician as well as assisted by the company's maintenance personnel. This installation features a WA380 Komatsu loader. When installing the G2F unit, the first step is always safety. Make sure all safety rules, regulations, and lockout procedures are followed. Ensure that the hydraulic or transmission system is sufficiently cooled to prevent burn injuries. Choose a convenient place to locate the G2F unit, assuring there is enough clearance above each unit to facilitate the G2F element change. In this case, we are mounting the G2F unit on an outside frame location for easy access. Mount the G2F bracket as vertically square as possible, and using the bracket as a template, mark the holes, drill the holes, and mount the bracket. Now you can mount the unit onto the bracket using the hardware supplied. On this loader, we will be installing a G2F hydraulic and transmission unit. Because both units are installed in the same manner, we will demonstrate the hydraulic installation only. For the hydraulic pressure, there is a spare plug on the pump. Remove plug and insert a pressure test gauge to ensure proper pressure. Once the pressure point is determined, insert the appropriate steel adapter. For the return port, there is a spare plug on top of the oil reservoir. Remove and insert the steel adapter. We will now measure the length required for the pressure hose by running the hose from the pump to the G2F unit and the drain hose from the reservoir to the G2F unit, ensuring the lay of the hose lies in natural curvatures. Next, we will cut the hose and make up the hose assemblies. Then add a bit of oil to the hose coupler, which allows for the ease of assembly. Insert the reusable ferrules to the hose ends and turn counterclockwise until the ferrule is flush with the end of the hose. Next, insert the hose coupler clockwise until it bottoms up on the ferrule. Blow out the hose assemblies with high pressure air ensuring all debris is removed. Now it is time to attach the hose assembly from the drain port to the outlet of the G2F unit and also install the hose assembly from the pressure port to the inlet of the G2F unit. Temporarily install a 0 to 160 PSI gauge in the G2F unit, then start the hydraulic system and activate the pump. Gradually open the valve until the proper pressure is reached. Once reached, tighten the locking nut on the valve and then turn off the hydraulic system. Now remove the temporary gauge and replace it with a G2F test point. Now that the installation is complete, start the hydraulic system until the G2F unit gets warm to the touch. This ensures that the oil is flowing properly. Also be sure to check that the G2F unit and all hose assemblies are secure and that there is no leakage. With the G2F unit fully installed, you can now operate knowing you have a cleaner running hydraulic or transmission system, saving the wear and tear on your equipment with the opportunity to extend your oil drain intervals and lend a helping hand to the environment. For more complete detailed instructions on how to install the G2F high pressure unit, please refer to our G2F HP series installation manual available through your G2F local representative. 